decided that we are going to hike the dune for sunrise because you're only here once. Hi, I'm Lavi. And I'm Ollie. And this is our hero, Bumblebee. Together, we are attempting a Guinness World Record to become the youngest pair to circumnavigate the globe by, by motorcycle. motorcycle. Join us for season three here in South America. Up we go, all the way to the top, over there. How are you doing? Yes, you can do it, all the way to the top. Yes. Wow, wow look at that. There's a long way down. There it is. The tiny oasis of Huacachina. Down below. Whoa. <laughs> wow, this is so the best ever. Look at that. Wow. We walked up to the biggest sand dune here around and the view is stunning. Yeah, this is the town of Ica behind. And here is Huacachina Ica. The oasis in the dunes. Dune party. <laughs> nice. It took us like 40 minutes to get up here and then it takes like two seconds to go down <laughs> amazing what a place mm, can you smell the garlic yeah there's some cooking going on oh nice hey but we had some cheese sandwiches this morning that was lovely that was lovely <laughs> we're on our way bye bye most beautiful magical oasis place in the world i think <laughs> So let me just see about this a little bit. I remember that there's a little bit of sand on the way down. Oh yes. Hopefully our analyst Capra X tires that wear out in 4,000 miles can handle this. Uh -oh. oh. Okay, that is actually quite deep. Yeah. Okay, I'll just take it easy and slow. Yeah. Okay. It's okay? Yeah, just wait for this car. Yeah, okay. Whew. It's always a challenge, eh? On, <laughs> on sand. Hey, I'm a sand riding pro now. <laughs> Should we go up there? Yeah, last night we saw cars riding across there, literally over the dunes. Incredible. Yeah, I think there's no restrictions here. I think you can literally drive wherever you want. But anyway, it's time to say goodbye to Huacachina. Bye bye! Really enjoyed our time here. Be careful, sand on the road. Yeah, yeah, I gotta go oh. on. Gotta just nice and easy. Okay, not too bad. Yeah. Wow, yeah, look at the sand dunes! Oh my god! <laughs> wow! But it's amazing how quick it ends. It's like there's a dune and then this is the town of Ica in front. And that's it, that's the end of the sand basically. Wow. It's crazy. What a place. Magical, absolutely magical place, really. Oh no, I almost forgot. Good morning world, welcome back to the channel. It's day number 330 on our circumnavigation around the globe by motorcycle. So we are here in Huacachina Ica in Peru. Well, you saw the place just a second ago, so it was stunning here. But now we have a mission, a new mission, and that is to make our way north, north, north. So let me show you guys the route for today so we are here in the oasis paradise and today we are going to be continuing our way north along the pan-american highway 
and if we do really well today we may even make it past Lima so our aim for today is to get at least to Lima or even better further but our navigation says it's um, 190 miles but it will take us six hours and like 30 minutes it's already nine o'clock so better hit the road let's go the security guy is stopping traffic here because there's a giant parade coming across the road and turn my engine off Carnival or religion? Governo. Governo. Oh. Pero es este fiesta. Fiesta. Okay. Oh my goodness. Oh my God. Everyone wants to go. Yeah, they've let they've let us go now. Hey, look at all these people parading around. Cool. A busy day on the Pan American, hey? Yeah, wow. It's still very populated. It's still very busy. I think we're still on the outskirts of Ica, so I think. Um, Hopefully it's going to become a little bit more clear as we get a bit out of the town. Yes. Hope for the best, eh? Hope for the best. So the Pan American has turned into quite a big double lane highway. And we are just nestled at the moment in between these giant sand dunes on one side. And the ocean is just over there. But actually in between, there's quite a lot of animal farms yeah we're just super super crazy here it's just like a mix of like um strange buildings here and then you have farms and then you have like holiday places it's like it's really crazy here here these are the remains of basically abandoned pig farms and you can sort of smell the animal smell super crazy here so yeah not the nicest place to be honest not the nicest part of the Pan American. So we just stopped here at the petrol station. I prepared us a really nice lunch this morning. What are we having? Let's see. Here's yeah, some clothes for you, you for lunch. I made us some nice uh, cheesy breads. <laughs> Two for me. And two for you. Yeah, two sandwiches. Two sandwiches. Oh my goodness. Thank you. And then we have some cookies as well. And I think we got some crisps as well. And some Red Bulls. Red Bulls. Yeah, because the ride is not uh, the nicest ride today, but we have to do some distance. I think we've covered about 100 miles already today. Yes. Our garments stopped working, so we don't actually know how many miles we have done today. But yeah, it's crazy because the garment just completely stop working and normally with the garment we're recording every ride um, because for the guinness world record we have to provide the rides you know <sighs> so we have to figure that problem out somehow i don't know exactly but for now we will just chill out a little bit have something uh, to eat and just um, have something to eat so we found a solution for the garmin uh, because actually there's a usb slot at the back so instead of charging through here directly to the battery which it normally should do but doesn't uh, we've got the external cable plugged into the usb now so we're back online Woo! but i think later we're going to have to maybe just open up the seat have a look at the battery and see if it is connected or if it's uh, something to do with the wiring or the connection at the back here but yeah the garmin's pretty essential for us hey so Anyway, for now, we'll use the USB like this. That'll be fine. So funny here on the side of the highway, you've got loads and loads and loads of like ice cream stands. Yeah, I mean, so many. We saw, I think, 10 already. And they all have like loads of colorful flags. Helados artisanals. Artisanal ice cream. Everyone wants to stop for an ice cream. Yeah, it's like if you want to stop for an ice cream, that's the place. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, it's starting to get a little bit busier um, because we're sort of within one hour of Lima now. Let's see how busy it gets on the run in. Five minutes later. We decided we couldn't resist. We're going to get an ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because after the 20th time of seeing it, I want ice cream now. Tiene chocolate. See? Perfecto. I want something very crazy. 
crazy. What do you want? You want to get something weird? Yeah. You're going to get alien flavor. So what have they got? Whoa! Oh, they have your favorite! Coffee flavor. They've got quinoa yeah. with uh, passion fruit, maracuya. Okay. Wow. Wow. I think I will take one of those. But look at this one. Chilcano has like a lot of stuff in it. Look at this one. Guanabana. Yeah, that looks good. Dos chocolate. Gracias. You're so boring. I just want chocolate. What's wrong? Maracuya and um, Gracias. Yes. 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 Wow. Ice cream time. Okay, we are definitely getting into Lima now. Yeah, the really, really madness has started. And uh, the Garmin has given up on us again. So uh, we've put the phone on our trusty Peak Design phone mount. <laughs> yes. Thanks Peak Design. Yeah, but even Google Maps sent it us already the wrong way, which is a little bit disappointing. So we had to detour around and I tell you, it wasn't funny. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we got to explore a really nice neighborhood of Lima. <laughs> Every other road is just jam-packed full of traffic. You can't get anywhere. So, I mean, this road at least is moving at the moment. There's actually 9.7 million people living here in Lima. And in the greater urban area, it's 11 million. It's literally one of the biggest cities in South America. One third of the country is actually living here in this area. Yeah, so which means for a motorbike like us, you know, it's a pretty dangerous place to ride around in. So yeah, we are not gonna stay here in Lima. We will try to head up further north and try to find a place there. Yeah, we are just gonna skip through on the Pan American and hopefully come out the other side unscathed. Yeah, we saw already a lot of people undertaking us. We've had people already pull, pulling over into our lane pretty much next to us. So yeah, we have to be super careful. Super careful. But actually we were doing a bit of a browse and we found out that Lima actually has one of the oldest um, learning institutions in the world. Yeah, the University of San Marcos was apparently opened here in 1551. But unfortunately, I don't think we will get to see the historic center of Lima unless the Pan American goes like right through the middle. Yeah, I think it doesn't, unfortunately. As long as we get out the other side, then I'm happy. I mean, we went into the center of La Paz. We went into the center of Santiago, Buenos Aires, Rio, Sao Paulo. Yeah. Paris. Yeah. London. <laughs> Sorry, Lima, but there are just so many cities we can take or yeah. I can take yeah. on the back of the bike here. <laughs> So I thought we were bypassing most of Lima, but it looks like we're just about entering the historic center now. Look how many people are up there. Wow. It's busy. Actually, look over there. Wow. Yeah, I got some crazy historic buildings on that side. I can see on the map that actually Lima Cathedral is just here. Wow. That is it probably. Yeah, yeah. it's beautiful. Wow, yeah, it's super busy over there. I would say, yeah, that's the, the very center of Lima. Wow. So there we go. The Pan American really does pass right through Lima. And um, I've learned now to just stay on this outside lane because basically, for some reason, on this highway, there's bus stops. Um, but those bus stops are often full of either buses or parked vans or even stalls, people selling stuff. So basically, the buses, they don't even stop off the road. They just stop in their lane. And actually, even in the middle lane, some of the buses are stopping. So it's just an absolute nightmare. It's really dangerous. Yeah, it's crazy because then I'm trying to get around the bus and then other buses are coming behind me. Actually, it seems that the best option is just to stay in the complete outer like this. Yeah, it's true. And stay away from the traffic that just keeps stopping. Yeah, it's been a really stressful ride actually. Haha! <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> we have made it out the other side of Lima. That took absolutely ages. Yes, my bump is hurting. <laughs> yeah, we didn't want to really stop halfway through. So we just powered on. I think that took us how many hours? Like two or maybe even three hours? Yeah, I think so. Wow, that just went on and on and on. And there was just endless traffic and traffic lights. What's going on here? Payage. Payage. So I think we've got our special moto lane. But last time we tried to take it, it was too thin for us to actually get through. So let's see if yes. we can make it through. Is it too narrow? I don't know. No, I think it's actually fine. Maybe it's all right. A little bit thin on the road, but otherwise fine. <laughs> Always an obstacle course. Look at this. It's yeah. like a little driving test. Yeah. Yeah, to the right, to the left. Yep. Just want to make sure. And then you got a little thing at the end to get over, a little nice obstacle. There you go, you completed it. Yes, here's your license. You're allowed to drive in Peru. <laughs> You're an honorary Peruvian motorcyclist now. <laughs> All right, so it's currently nearly four o'clock now and uh, i reckon we'll probably ride for one more hour well we'll take a break first on the next available petrol station but after that we'll probably do one more hour and then we'll call it a day the main mission was to get through lima and we did and we saw the cathedral and we nearly crashed about 500 times <laughs> successful day I just got some fruits for us. So this is a dragon fruit. <laughs> I don't know the local name, but let's check it out how it looks from inside. Oh, wow. Oh my God, look at that. The nicest colors in the world. That's really bright. Yeah. Got a um, citrus punch juice as well. Mango, oh, mangoes. Avocado. Oh yes. Some very green uh, mandarins <laughs> and some nice peaches. And we've also decided that uh, it's pretty much enough for today. It's uh, like half past four and there's a town about six kilometers further with a couple of hospitages and some of them have ocean views. It's right next to the ocean. So that'd be a good place to stop for the night. How is it? Mm, delicious. It's very mild. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, it's not like packed with flavor. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Yeah, it's mild. But... It's packed with colors, but not with flavor. <laughs> <laughs> Left here. Left here, yeah. Okay. Again. Yeah. And then the next left as well. Left again. Okay. And then it should come up on the right. What was the name? I think it was called Sunset Hostel. Okay. Ah, uh, here we go. Hostel. I see a sign. Here, this one? Yes, Sunset Hostel, this is it. Okay. Let's just ride straight in. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Okay, let's check it out. Uh, no, 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 I think she's asking somebody something. Uh, okay. We said yes. Yeah, it's just getting a bit late and we're pretty tired. So we basically said, yeah, okay. So a hundred it is. So a hundred is about 21 pounds, which is a bit more than we wanted to spend, but yeah, it's secure parking, nice room. So I think we'll be all right here. Good evening, guys. We made it, happy to live. Yes, we're just having some noodles and some olives with this view. It might be a little bit over our budget, but this place has a swimming pool and it's right in front of the ocean. So it's absolutely crazy. We did ask if we could pitch up the tent, but yeah. she said, <laughs> no, 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 just rooms only. So yes. even though they have a nice and grassy bit here as well, but <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> so apparently the pool closes in half an hour. So we've got just about enough time to eat our noodles, go for a little swim, and relax a little bit. Yes, that's it from today. We hope you enjoyed the video. If so, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share the video with your friends and family, comment below, and we will see you next time.